Hey guys, this is Ted with OA X Ray, and today we're going to go over how to drop ship from some sites um, selling onto Amazon. Now, there has been a recent policy change on Amazon which um, says that you cannot drop ship from some retail stores, but I keep getting questions about it. So, just to let you know, I'm not. Um, I'm not recommending anything. This is not a recommendation to anybody, but if you want the information, I will give it to you. So um, if you go to Target, I just typed in Lego here and it looks like I have a whole bunch of results and you click on the OA X-Ray extension. I don't want to wait for the minute for it to load, so I'm just going to go to what the results were. Um, the, the screen originally looked like this and I clicked on the Merchant Fulfilled tab what this does is changes the way we calculate the information so that um, as long as it is checked it will calculate your net payout based on um, only subtracting the cost of the item at the store and subtracting the percentage fee for the category that it's in so for toys it would be 15 percent so if i want to find some items to drop ship i'll run it and i'll go to positive roi this is going to get rid of everything with a negative ROI. Now, um, I want my net payout uh, to be over, uh, let's just say five, no, not five bucks. Um, let's just go with this uh, Ninja Mutant Turtle thing since it looks like there's about a $7 net payout and it costs you about $19.99 um, to buy the item. So you, if, if, if you have a a card and it allows you free shipping to anywhere, then we do not need to put in a per unit fee. But if we're drop shipping and we're at, let's say Walmart, they charge $4.97 per order. We can um, put in $4.97 right there and it's going to subtract that shipping fee from the net payout. But since I so um, that's one easy way to um, gauge the additional cost of shipping if the website charges shipping. I generally get free shipping from Toys or, or sorry, Target.com. So I just put a zero in that box. But if you're on, I know Macy's, I think um, it's $9.99 for any shipping under $100. So I'll generally put $9.99 in that box if I'm looking for that. Now, so we're on this uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we're just going to open up both links just by clicking. And here are the links um, to the Ninja Turtles. Now, here's the important part. You want to make sure the items are exactly the same so that you do not have any issues. If there's any ambiguity, you can't tell if it's the exact same model, the best thing to do is not to list the item. So um, from here, after we made sure the item is the same, we can go to sell on Amazon and add the listing. Now, one thing that is difficult for people is figuring out when items go in and out of stock that they are drop shipping. And Scan Power helps you do that. And that's why one of the reasons we add Scan Power to the list here. If you click on this link, it takes you to Scan Power and you are going to be able to grab the ASIN and add it to your tracking. You can also um, take the target link and add it to your tracking also. And um, once you get familiar with it, you'll be able to set it up so that when the item goes in and out of stock, it's going to send you an alert once an hour and let you know if the item went in or out of stock. So having OAX Ray to find the items and then having a scan power, or sorry, uh, yeah, the scan power web scout also as a backup to tell you when the items go out of stock is going to be great if you decide to drop ship using the program. You can also use this merchant fulfilled items if you're just merchant fulfilling items and you can put your per unit fee um, if you know what your average cost per unit is and you know what your per pound cost um, per unit is. You're also going to be able to do that. Now um, if you want to add any discounts if you know that um, Target is having a sale today you can add the discounts and whatever else you need to do um, that's just a pretty good way to use OA X-Ray for drop shipping if you're doing it um, with the policy change it seems like you're not going to be able to anymore 
but I haven't heard any issues. So if you decide to go down that path, then you can use OA X-Ray to help you out. And using this Merchant Fulfilled button right here will help. Another thing you can do is if you want to do mass uploads of items, I'm not sure what, if you're using scan power or whatever, you can um, export this list to CVS or you can add the items to your buy list and then export those to CVS and you're going to have the ASIN that you need and you're going to have um, the pricing information that you need to um, list the item and put the pricing information in. Um, also and then hook it up to whatever repricer you want to use and then add it to your uh, scan power account web scout ex account for tracking later so um, this is a pretty flexible tool and hopefully it will help you if you are a drop shipper um, just make sure you keep up with the Amazon rules and how they work everything have a great day